The liver is a vital organ that performs hundreds of tasks related to metabolism, energy storage, and waste filtering. It helps you digest food, convert it to energy, and store the energy until you need it. It also helps filter toxic substances out of your bloodstream. However, certain things may make you more likely to develop certain liver diseases. It's also possible for someone to have liver disease and not have any symptoms at all. It takes away the opportunity to get treated in time and the results become severe. In fact, liver disease accounts for 2 million deaths annually and is responsible for 4% of all deaths. Approximately two-thirds of all liver-related deaths occur in men. But are these the only factors that negatively impact our liver health? In today's video, we will delve deeper into 11 daily habits that may put our liver at risk without us even realizing it. Also, stick to the end of the video, where we will talk about five foods that may protect your liver from daily damage. Let's get started. 1. Excessive Alcohol Consumption Alcohol consumption is the most infamous culprit behind liver disease. Initially, when alcohol is consumed, the liver prioritizes metabolizing it over other substances. This metabolism primarily occurs via an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase, which converts alcohol into acetaldehyde, a highly toxic substance and known carcinogen. Acetaldehyde is then broken down into a less harmful substance, acetate, by another enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase. However, excessive alcohol intake overwhelms the liver's metabolic capacity, leading to acetaldehyde accumulation, causing cellular injury and inflammation. Additionally, alcohol may alter the natural balance of fats in the liver, leading to fatty liver disease, a condition where fat accumulates in the liver cells, making them more susceptible to further damage. According to research, Patients suffering from the hepatitis C virus who consume over 50 grams of alcohol daily show a 34% faster liver fibrosis progression than non-drinkers. Even moderate alcohol consumption, as low as 20 grams for women and 30 grams for men, may worsen liver damage in such patients, also increasing viamia. If you want to enjoy a beverage that will replace alcohol without causing harm to your health, you may choose coffee. For example, Studies have shown that drinking two cups of coffee per day helps lower the risk of cirrhosis or permanent liver damage in people with chronic liver disease. Drinking coffee may also help reduce the risk of developing a common type of liver cancer. It also has positive effects on liver disease and inflammation. 2. Overuse of medications Drug-induced liver injury is common and nearly all classes of medications may cause liver disease. One type of drug-induced acute liver damage is bland cholestasis, in which bile secretion slows down but liver cells are not seriously hurt. Another type is cholestatic hepatitis, in which bile flows slows down and liver tissue is hurt. And finally, there is a type in which the bile ducts get damaged or swell up. There are two ways that drug reactions may cause chronic cholestasis vanishing bile duct syndrome which is when bile ducts slowly disappear, and secondary sclerosing cholangitis, which is when external bile ducts get blocked. Furthermore, certain medications may disrupt the natural balance of enzymes and other chemicals in the liver, leading to oxidative stress. This stress further damages liver cells and weakens the liver's ability to filter blood, metabolize drugs, and repair itself. Additionally, some drugs may trigger an immune response against the liver, leading to inflammation and damage. The most effective way to prevent medication-induced liver damage is to use medications responsibly, follow dosing recommendations, and consult healthcare providers about the potential liver impact of any new medications. Regular monitoring and liver function tests may also help detect early signs of liver damage. 3. Smoking. When cigarette smoke is inhaled, it introduces a range of harmful chemicals into the body, including nicotine, carbon monoxide, and various carcinogens. The chemicals in cigarette smoke may induce oxidative stress in liver cells. This stress occurs when there is an imbalance between free radicals, 
unstable molecules that may damage cells, and antioxidants molecules that neutralize free radicals. The liver naturally contains antioxidants to defend against oxidative stress, but the excessive free radicals generated by smoking may overwhelm these defenses, leading to cell damage and inflammation. Cigarette smoking is closely linked to increased liver damage, particularly in primary biliary cholangitis. Research indicates that a history of smoking significantly elevates the risk of advanced liver fibrosis, with the danger rising in a dose-dependent manner with each pack year of smoking. Notably, smokers with primary biliary cholangitis are more likely to develop severe conditions like advanced fibrosis and steatosis with increased mortality rates observed in those with extensive smoking histories. 4. Obesity and poor diet. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has emerged as a leading cause of chronic liver diseases in industrialized nations, affecting an estimated 25 to 30 percent of the global population. This prevalence significantly increases to up to 90 percent among individuals who are morbidly obese. In the context of obesity, the body's cells become resistant to insulin, a hormone that controls blood sugar levels. Insulin resistance prompts the pancreas to produce more insulin to overcome this resistance and manage blood sugar levels effectively. However, the excess insulin in the bloodstream encourages the liver to produce more fat than usual. 5. Sugar overload Sugar overload, particularly from fructose, may significantly harm liver health. Unlike other types of sugar, fructose is almost entirely processed in the liver, where it is converted into fat through a process called lipogenesis. This conversion leads to the accumulation of triglycerides, a type of fat, in liver cells, contributing to the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. As more fat is stored in the liver, it may become non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, a more serious liver disease that causes damage to the liver similar to that seen in people who drink a lot. The continued overload of sugar may lead to insulin resistance, a condition where the body's cells don't respond effectively to insulin. Insulin resistance forces the pancreas to produce more insulin to maintain blood sugar levels, but it also signals the liver to produce and release more glucose into the bloodstream. This exacerbates the problem, leading to further liver damage and worsening insulin resistance, creating a vicious cycle. Excessive consumption of added sugars, particularly fructose, is associated with metabolic issues that may lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, potentially progressing to more severe liver conditions. In children and adolescents, the relationship between fructose intake and NAFLD, as well as the development of liver fibrosis, is dose-dependent, meaning the risk increases with the amount consumed. The American Heart Association suggests no more than 36 grams of added sugar per day for men and 25 grams for women. Replacing high sugar foods with liver-friendly options, such as leafy green vegetables, nuts and fatty fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids, may help reduce inflammation and support liver health. 6. Excessive Salt Intake when we consume too much salt, our bodies retain more water to maintain the sodium water balance. This increased water retention raises blood pressure, putting additional strain on the cardiovascular system, which in turn affects liver function. High blood pressure may damage the liver's blood vessels, reducing its ability to filter toxins from the blood effectively. Moreover, a high salt diet contributes to the development of fatty liver disease, independent of obesity. The excess salt may lead to an accumulation of fat in liver cells, a condition known as steatosis, which is the first stage of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Over time, this may progress to more severe liver conditions, such as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, characterized by liver inflammation and damage. In a study involving 310 type 2 diabetes patients, high salt intake, defined as over 9.5 grams per day, was linked to a higher prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Specifically, liver disease was found in 45% of patients with high salt intake, compared to 28% with lower intake. 
According to the World Health Organization, limiting salt consumption to less than 5 grams roughly 1 teaspoon per day will help to reduce the risks associated with high salt intake. 7. Not drinking enough water. When hydration levels are low, the blood becomes thicker and more concentrated, making it harder for the liver to filter. This increased workload may lead to inflammation and reduced efficiency in toxin removal. Over time, dehydration may cause the accumulation of toxins in the liver, contributing to liver damage and diseases such as fatty liver disease and cirrhosis. A study of 16,434 participants showed that males drinking more than 7 cups of water per day had a lower risk of newly diagnosed non-alcoholic fatty liver disease compared to those consuming 3 cups or less. To mitigate the risks associated with not drinking enough water, it is recommended to consume at least 8 to 10 glasses of water per day. Foods like cucumbers, tomatoes, watermelon, oranges, and berries are high in water content and may contribute to overall fluid intake. 8. Skipping meals. Irregular eating patterns disrupt the natural balance of insulin and glucose in the body. When meals are skipped, insulin levels drop and glucose levels become unstable, leading to increased fat storage in the liver. This process may exacerbate conditions like fatty liver disease where fat accumulates in liver cells, impairing liver function. Additionally, irregular eating habits may disrupt the body's circadian rhythm, which regulates metabolic functions. Disruptions in the circadian rhythm may lead to altered liver enzyme activities and impaired bile acid production, further impairing liver function and increasing the risk of liver disease. In a study of 10,000 people, including 3,000 with metabolically associated fatty liver disease, it was found that skipping breakfast significantly increased cardiovascular mortality rates. It's important to avoid large, heavy meals that may strain the liver. Instead, aim for smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day to keep metabolism consistent and support liver function. 9. Unsafe sex practices Unsafe sex practices may damage liver health primarily through the increased risk of contracting viral infections such as hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Once the hepatitis B or hepatitis C virus enters the body, it travels to the liver where it begins to replicate within the liver cells. This replication process causes the body to mount an immune response against the infected liver cells, leading to inflammation that over time may lead to more severe forms of liver disease, such as cirrhosis. In the most severe cases, this may lead to liver failure or liver cancer, conditions that are life-threatening and require intensive medical intervention. To mitigate the risk of liver damage from unsafe sex practices, it is essential to engage in safe sex practices, such as using condoms and having monogamous relationships, to reduce the likelihood of contracting hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and other sexually transmitted infections, STIs. Additionally, vaccination against hepatitis B offers significant protection and is recommended for all individuals, especially those at higher risk of exposure. In a 2018 study involving 298 chronic hepatitis B patients, findings showed that among males, 35% had multiple sexual partners in the past year, with significant condom use reported. The study found correlations between drinking and smoking and less risky sexual behavior among white-collar workers, highlighting the need for integrated counseling and education in treatment programs. 10. Exposure to toxins. The liver is the body's primary detoxification organ, processing and eliminating toxins from the body. When toxins enter the body, either through ingestion, inhalation, or skin contact, they are transported to the liver where they undergo detoxification processes. These processes involve converting fat-soluble toxins into water-soluble forms that may be excreted from the body. However, during these processes, reactive intermediates may be formed, which may be more harmful than the original substances. It may cause liver cells to become damaged and die, leading to scar tissue formation, a condition known as fibrosis. Over time, 
If exposure to toxins continues, fibrosis may progress to cirrhosis, where the liver's structure and function are significantly impaired. Recent research highlights the significant association between environmental factors and liver diseases. Some of the most important exposures are to air pollution, mainly particulate matter and volatile chemicals, polyaromatic hydrocarbons, bisphenol A, and per and polyfluorinated substances, and also to physical stressors like radiation. These elements contribute to the rising incidence and progression of liver-related conditions. Moreover, certain toxins, such as aflatoxins produced by mold on stored grains and nuts and vinyl chloride used in plastics manufacturing, are known carcinogens and may lead to liver cancer, further exacerbating liver damage. Foods rich in antioxidants, such as fruits, especially berries and vegetables, particularly cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts, may help reduce oxidative stress and support the liver's detoxification processes. Additionally, consuming around two to three cups of green tea per day, which is high in catechins, may help enhance liver function. 11. Chronic stress. When a person experiences long-term stress, the body responds by releasing stress hormones, such as cortisol. High levels of cortisol over time may lead to increased blood sugar glucose levels, a process that, when persistent, may lead to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a condition where the body's cells become less effective at absorbing glucose from the bloodstream, leading to higher blood sugar levels, which the liver then has to process. Moreover, Chronic stress may alter immune system responses, leading to an increase in inflammation throughout the body. In the liver, inflammation may contribute to the development of conditions such as fatty liver disease and steatohepatitis. Inflammation may also accelerate the progression of existing liver conditions, leading to more significant damage. In a study comparing alcohol-induced fatty liver and chronic hepatitis patients, it was found that chronic hepatitis patients experienced higher levels of psychosocial stress. This stress was significantly associated with greater liver damage, suggesting that psychological factors may exacerbate liver disorders previously affected by alcohol. Practicing meditation and living a peaceful life may be helpful in managing stress and protecting your liver. Earlier in the video, we already talked about coffee and green tea being helpful to lessen the risk of liver disease. But other than those, there are many other foods that are beneficial for your liver. Now, let's look at five foods to protect your liver. 1. Turmeric. This spice contains curcumin, a compound known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It also helps in boosting the production of bile, aiding in digestion and improving liver function. 2. Avocados Be rich in healthy fats. Avocados help to reduce bad cholesterol without affecting good cholesterol levels. They contain compounds that may slow liver damage. 3. Nuts Especially walnuts, which are high in omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants, which support liver health. They may help to reduce liver enzymes a marker of liver damage, and improve liver function. 4. Beets Beets are high in antioxidants and nitrates, which are beneficial for heart health and may also help improve liver function. They help purify the blood and may increase enzyme activity and promote overall liver efficiency. 5. Olive oil This healthy fat is good for the liver especially for controlling weight and reducing the risk of fatty liver disease. Olive oil's beneficial effects include improving liver enzyme levels and controlling fat accumulation in the liver. Each of the 11 habits mentioned earlier in the video impacts the liver in different ways, from direct toxic damage to indirect effects through other body systems. Maintaining a balanced diet, exercising regularly, avoiding toxic substances, and monitoring your liver health may help prevent liver damage and ensure this vital organ functions properly. Also, if you suspect any liver damage, consult a healthcare professional as soon as possible. Now that we have discussed the many habits that damage our liver, let's dive into other topics of interest.
interested in knowing more about health secrets. Watch 12 things your poop says about your health. You may also try our video on 12 early warning signs of heart disease your body is telling you about. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about your body. How many of the earlier mentioned habits do you follow in your everyday life? Let us know in the comments below.